Good morning and welcome on Tuesday the 12th of January in the Octave of Epiphany for morning prayer at the Rectory of St. John's Church in Savannah. Uh, service begins in the 1928 prayer book on page 6 with the Confession. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart, O God, thou wilt not despise. Let us humbly confess our sins unto Almighty God. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from thy ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done, and there is no health in us. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us, miserable offenders, Spare thou those, O God, who confess their faults. Restore thou those who are penitent, according to thy promises declared unto mankind in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life. To the glory of thy holy name. Amen. Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, he desireth not the death of a sinner, but rather that he may turn from his wickedness and live, hath given power and commandment to his ministers to declare and pronounce to his people, being penitent, the absolution and remission of their sins. He pardoneth and absolveth all those who truly repent and unfeignedly believe his holy gospel. Wherefore, let us beseech him to grant us true repentance and his Holy Spirit, that those things may please him which we do at this present, and that the rest of our life hereafter may be pure and holy, so that at the last we may come to his eternal joy. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. The Lord hath manifested forth his glory. O come, let us adore him. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are all the corners of the earth and the strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his and he made it and his hands prepared the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is the Lord our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. O worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth stand in awe of him. For he cometh, for he cometh to judge the earth, and with righteousness to judge the world, and the peoples with his truth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord hath manifested forth his glory. O come, let us adore him. The Psalms for the twelfth day of the month at morning prayer begin on page 413, Psalms 62, 63, and 64. My soul truly waiteth still upon God, for of him cometh my salvation. He verily is my strength and my salvation. He is my defense, so that I shall not greatly fall. How long will ye imagine mischief against every man? Ye shall be slain, all the sort of you. Yea, as a tottering wall shall ye be, and like a broken hedge. Their device is only how to put him out whom God will exalt. Their delight is in lies. They give good words with their mouth, but curse with their heart. Nevertheless, my soul, wait thou still upon God, for my hope is in him. He truly is my strength and my salvation. He is my defense, so that I shall not fall. 
In God is my health and my glory, the rock of my might, and in God is my trust. O oh, put your trust in him always, ye people. Pour out your hearts before him, for God is our hope. As for the children of men, they are but vanity. The children of men are deceitful. Upon the weights they are altogether lighter than vanity itself. O oh, trust not in wrong and robbery. Give not yourselves unto vanity. If riches increase, set not your heart upon them. God spake once, and twice I have also heard the same. The power belongeth unto God, and that thou, Lord, art merciful, for thou rewardest every man according to his work. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O God, thou art my God, early will I seek thee. My soul thirsteth for thee, my flesh also longeth after thee, in a barren and dry land where no water is. Thus have I looked for thee in the sanctuary, that I might behold thy power and glory. For thy loving kindness is better than the life itself. My lips shall praise thee. As long as I live will I magnify thee in this manner, and lift up my hands in thy name. My soul shall be satisfied even as it were with marrow and fatness, when my mouth praiseth thee with joyful lips. Have I not remembered thee in my bed, and thought upon thee when I was waking? Because thou hast been my helper, therefore under the shadow of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul hangeth upon thee, thy right hand hath upholden me. These also that seek the hurt of my soul, they shall go under the earth. Let them fall upon the edge of the sword, that they may be a portion for foxes. But the king shall rejoice in God, all they also that swear by him shall be commended. For the mouth of them that speak lies shall be stopped. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Hear my voice, O God, in my prayer. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Hide me from the gathering together of the froward, and from the insurrection of wicked doers, who have wet their tongue like a sword, and shoot out their arrows, even bitter words, that they may privily shoot at him that is perfect, Suddenly do they hit him and fear not. They encourage themselves in mischief and commune among themselves how they may lay snares and say that no man shall see them. They imagine wickedness and practice it, that they keep secret among themselves, every man in the deep of his heart. But God shall suddenly shoot at them with a swift arrow, that they shall be wounded. Yea, their own tongues shall make them fall, insomuch that whoso seeth them shall laugh them to scorn. And all men that see it shall say, This hath God done, for they shall perceive that it is his work. The righteous shall rejoice in the Lord and put his trust in him, and all they that are true of heart shall be glad. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Here beginneth the book of the prophet Amos. an oracle of judgment against the Gentile nations that surrounded Judah and Israel. The words of Amos, who was among the herdmen of Tekoa, which he saw concerning Israel in the days of Isaiah, king of Judah, and in the days of Jeroboam, the son of Joash, king of Israel, two years before the earthquake. And he said, The Lord will roar from Zion, and utter his voice from Jerusalem, and the habitations of the shepherds shall mourn, and the top of Carmel shall wither. Thus saith the Lord, For three transgressions of Damascus and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because they have threshed Gilead with threshing instrument of iron. But I will send a fire into the house of Hazael, which shall devour the palaces of Ben-Hadad. I will break also the bar of Damascus and cut off the inhabitant from the plain of Avon and him that holdeth the scepter from the house of Eden and the people of Syria shall go into the captivity unto Ker, saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord, for three transgressions of Gaza and for four, 
I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because they carried away captive the whole captivity to deliver them up to Edom. But I will send a fire on the wall of Gaza, which shall devour the palaces thereof. And I will cut off the inhabitant from Ashdod, and him that holdeth the scepter from Ashkelon. And I will turn mine hand against Ekron, and the remnant of the Philistines shall perish, saith the Lord God. Thus saith the Lord, For three transgressions of Tyrus and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because they delivered up the whole captivity to Edom, and remembered not the brotherly covenant. But I will send a fire on the wall of Tyrus, which shall devour the palaces thereof. Thus saith the Lord, For three transgressions of Edom and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because he did pursue his brother with the sword, and did cast off all pity, and his anger did tear perpetually, and he kept his wrath for ever. But I will send a fire upon Teman, which shall devour the palaces of Basra. Thus saith the Lord, For three transgressions of the children of Ammon, and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because they have ripped up the women with child of Gilead, that they might enlarge their border. But I will kindle a fire in the wall of Rabbah, and it shall devour the palaces thereof, with shouting in the day of battle, with a tempest in the day of the whirlwind. And their king shall go into captivity, he and his princes together, saith the Lord. Here endeth the first lesson. On page 10, the Te Deum, we praise thee, O God, we acknowledge thee to be the Lord, all the earth doth worship thee, the Father everlasting. To thee all angels cry aloud, the heavens and all the powers therein. To thee cherubim and seraphim continually do cry, Holy, 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 Lord God of Sabaoth, heaven and earth are full of the majesty of thy glory. The glorious company of the apostles praise thee. The goodly fellowship of the prophets praise thee. The noble army of martyrs praise thee. The Holy Church throughout all the world doth acknowledge thee, the Father of an infinite majesty, thine adorable true and only Son, also the Holy Ghost, the Comforter. Thou art the King of glory, O Christ. Thou art the everlasting Son of the Father. When thou tookest upon thee to deliver man, thou didst humble thyself to be born of a virgin. When thou hadst overcome the sharpness of death, thou didst open the kingdom of heaven to all believers. Thou sittest at the right hand of God, in the glory of the Father. We believe that thou shalt come to be our judge. We therefore pray thee, help thy servants, whom thou hast redeemed with thy precious blood. Make them to be numbered with thy saints, in glory everlasting. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thine heritage. Govern them, and lift them up forever. Day by day we magnify thee, and we worship thy name ever, world without end. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us. O Lord, let thy mercy lighten upon us, as our trust is in thee. O Lord, in thee have I trusted, let me never be confounded. Here beginneth the 18th verse of the ninth chapter of the Gospel according to St. Matthew. While Jesus yet spake these things unto them, behold, there came a certain ruler, and worshipped him, saying, My daughter is even now dead, but come and lay thy hand upon her, and she shall live. And Jesus arose and followed him, and so did his disciples. And behold, a woman which was diseased with an issue of blood twelve years came behind him and touched the hem of his garment, for she said within herself, if I may but touch his garment, I shall be whole. But Jesus turned him about, and when he saw her, he said, Daughter, be of good comfort, thy faith hath made thee whole. And the woman was made whole from that hour. And when Jesus came into the ruler's house, and saw the minstrels and the people making a noise, he said unto them, Give place, for the maid is not dead, but sleepeth. And they laughed him to scorn. But when the people were put forth, 
he went in and took her by the hand, and the maid arose, and the fame hereof went abroad into all that land. And when Jesus departed thence, two men, blind, two blind men followed him, crying and saying, Thou son of David, have mercy on us. And when he was come into the house, the blind men came to him, and Jesus saith unto them, Believe ye that I am able to do this? They said unto him, Yea, Lord. Then touched he their eyes, saying, According to your faith, be it unto you. And their eyes were opened, and Jesus straightly charged them, saying, See that no man know it. But they, when they departed, spread abroad his fame in all that country. As they went out, behold, they brought to him a dumb man possessed with the devil. And when the devil was cast out, the dumb spake, and the multitudes marveled, saying, It was never so seen in Israel. But the Pharisees said, He casteth out devils through the prince of devils. Here endeth the second lesson. So today we started uh, a new book, one of the new, uh, one of the minor prophets, Amos, who's a kind of mid eighth century prophet at a time when the northern and southern kingdoms, Judah and Israel, were apparently prospering, and the disaster of the Assyrian invasion that would destroy the northern kingdom was still in the future. Um, and uh, Amos, uh, however, is um, already giving voice to the judgments of the Lord. He opens with the Lord roaring out of Zion, that's verse 2, uh, roaring in judgment upon the wickedness and the atrocities um, of the Gentile nations around Judah and Israel. And uh, so there's the um, uh, Damascus of Philistines and Tyre and Edom and Abon, all these nations surrounding Judah and Israel who have uh, their acts of, of wanton cruelty and naked aggression and enslavement and the breaking of treaties, all these are denounced. And the formula is, you know, for three transgressions and for four. It's a wonderful, uh, striking uh, line of speech. And I think it means this, that God has waited. He hasn't rushed to judgment for three transgressions and for four. Three speaks of sin coming to its fullness. Four speaks of it overflowing. Uh, and and a, a kind of tipping point has been reached. And uh, so we've got both the patience of God, who in mercy waits for a repentance that didn't come. And then we have this fullness of sin, which uh, eventually comes to judgment. Um, so uh, this is how it works in the book of Amos. He starts by looking at the, the enemies of Judah and Israel. And there we go. We have a little wireless problem. Uh, so, you know, if, if judgment of this kind is going to come on the Gentiles, what is it going to, what judgment is going to come on the people of God um, who should know better? Uh, then in Matthew chapter 9, uh, we've got um, uh, Jesus saving um, the power, the saving power of God that is at work in and through him is manifested once more in glorious epiphany, raising the dead, um, healing the woman with the issue of blood, giving the blind their sight. Um, and the, the, the theme that seems to be here is that uh, Jesus gives himself to faith. Woman, she says, maybe if I touch him, I'll be healed. And he says, woman, thy faith has saved thee. Um, and to the blind men, he says, um, uh, believest thou um, that I'm able to do this? They say, yea, Lord. Uh, and he touched their eyes saying, according to your faith, be it unto you. Christ gives himself to faith alone in the context of a trusting, open-hearted relationship. Uh, and so uh, we, we uh, pray for that particular grace as we give uh, thanks and praise to him for our salvation. On page 14 in the Benedictus, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people and hath raised up a mighty salvation for us in the house of his servant David. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us, to perform the mercy promised to our forefathers and to remember his holy covenant, to perform the oath which he sware to our forefather Abraham that he, that he would give us, that we being delivered out of the hand of our enemies 
might serve him without fear in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. And thou, child, shalt be called the prophet of the highest, for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation unto his people for the remission of their sins, through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high hath visited us, to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you with thy spirit. Let us pray. In our prayers today, we pray for our country and its leaders for peace, order, and good government. For um, our church, churches and their leaders, both clergy and lay, uh, for the right teaching of the faith, for the due administration of the sacraments. We pray for our protection and deliverance from plague and pestilence and for um, an early uh, rollout of the vaccines. We pray for those who are suffering, who are sick or in sorrow. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the state, and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. Endue thy ministers with righteousness, and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord. For it is thou, Lord, only that makest us dwell in safety. O God, make clean our hearts within us, and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. O Lord, we beseech thee, mercifully to receive the prayers of thy people who call upon thee, and grant that they may both perceive and know what things they ought to do, and also may have grace and power faithfully to fulfill the same. Through Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the Holy Ghost ever, one God, world without end. Amen. O God, who by the leading of a star didst manifest thy only begotten Son to the Gentiles, mercifully grant that we, who know thee now by faith, may after this life have the fruition of thy glorious Godhead, through the same thy Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, who art the author of peace and lover of concord, in knowledge of whom standeth our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom. Defend us, thy humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in thy defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries, through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, who has safely brought us to the beginning of this day, defend us in the same with thy mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings, being ordered by thy governance, may be righteous in thy sight, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We pray for our country, Almighty God, who hast given us this good land for our heritage. We humbly beseech thee that we may always prove ourselves a people mindful of thy favor and glad to do thy will. Bless our land with honorable industry, sound learning, and pure manners. 
save us from violence, discord, and confusion, from pride and arrogancy, and from every evil way. Defend our liberties, and fashion into one united people the multitudes brought hither out of many kindreds and tongues. Endue with the spirit of wisdom those to whom in thy name we entrust the authority of government, that there may be justice and peace at home, and that through obedience to thy law we may show forth thy praise among the nations of the earth. In the time of prosperity, fill our hearts with thankfulness, and in the day of trouble, suffer not our trust in thee to fail. All which we ask through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Of your charity, I bid your prayers for the repose of the souls of the faithful departed. Rest eternal grant unto them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. And on page 19, the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, thine unworthy servants, do give thee most humble and hearty thanks for all thy goodness and loving kindness to us and to all men. We bless thee for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of, the, of this life, but above all for thine inestimable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we beseech thee, Give us that due sense of all thy mercies, that our hearts may be unfeignedly thankful, and that we show forth thy praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to thy service, and by walking before thee in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. Good morning to you all. Have a great day.